Welcome back to Barbecue and Bottles. I'm Jared, and today we are gonna be making breakfast sandwiches, but not any breakfast sandwich. We're gonna be making our version of the McDonald's McGriddle. We're gonna spice it up a little bit, so stay tuned. So for this breakfast sandwich, as opposed to using a bun, we're gonna be making pancakes infused with maple syrup, just like the McGriddle. So to start with, we've got our pancake mix. You can make these from scratch. Pancake mix is just easier, frankly. So we need two cups of this. Get that down in there. Yep, perfect, two cups. Now we need a cup and a third of milk. And we're actually using buttermilk for this. We're just pulling a bit of an audible. I love buttermilk pancakes. Now it's calling for two teaspoons of vegetable oil. We're just going in with avocado oil, a little bit healthier for you, but it'll perform just the same. And then one egg. Now I'll just get this mixed together. All right, we've got our pancake batter all mixed up here. Now we're gonna make a bit of a sauce. Now, as opposed to doing like a Big Mac style sauce, we're actually gonna make a mayo sriracha style hot sauce just to go with this. And as opposed to using sriracha, we're going in with our El Yucateco. And this is really hot, so we're just gonna use a touch. We'll get that mixed together. There's already gonna be enough sweet in this, so we don't need more ketchup and relish adding to the sweetness. It'll be nice to get a little bit of heat into the recipe. Perfect. Now to prep our meats. So for our sausage patty, we've just got some ground sausage here from the store. Now, if you can't find ground sausage out of the casing, obviously you can just get a full sausage and then just take that out of the casing. You've essentially got your ground sausage through that process. So get this down here. Now for these, we're gonna start just by making little balls. So it's kind of like smash burgers but you're trying to make a bit of a thicker, more even patty, about that size. We're gonna be making our pancakes in these mason jar rings. So if you wanna just test this out, you wanna get a patty that's roughly the same size as these mason jar rings. And in terms of thickness of these patties, we're talking maybe quarter to half an inch to a centimeter thickness. And you're trying to make these as round as you can. Perfect. Now that we've got those set up, we're gonna get out our bacon, because of course you can't have a breakfast sandwich without bacon. Here we're going in with a smoked bacon too. You can add maple bacon, whatever your favorite bacon is, just for another layer of flavor within these sandwiches. All right, so now it's time to fire up the griddle. So we've got the griddle on medium here. And again, we're gonna be using these mason jar rings to form our pancake patties. Now for these mason jar rings, you wanna start them actually facing down, like upside down. We're gonna give them a quick spray with some cooking oil, just so our pancake batter doesn't actually stick to this. Get that all around. Perfect. And our griddle's on medium heat here. So we're just gonna take some batter and fill that up to the top, just shy of the top, because we're gonna add some maple syrup do the same over here. Now we've got some real maple syrup, not that Aunt Jemima stuff. We're just gonna drizzle this in really lightly. Oh, that was maybe a bit much. Perfect, just to infuse a little maple syrup through those pancakes. So we'll, that'll take a little while to cook. We're just trying to brown the bottom, get this to firm up, then we'll flip it over, and that's the point when you can actually remove the mason jar lid. In the meantime, we're gonna get our bacon on here. Some of this fat's gonna render down. Maybe we can get some of that into our pancake buns here too. Gonna get a patty on. Just clean off the ring here. If your pancake batter overflowed, you don't want your batter to just work its way all the way around the mason jar ring, otherwise you won't be able to shake it off. Now 
And now as your patties are cooking, if they shrink too much, you can just press down on them like this. And just squish them back out. Kind of like a mini smash burger, but with sausage. This smells absolutely incredible. So now we're gonna try and turn one of these pancakes. Got a nice golden brown top to it. I think we're gonna let our other one go a little bit further. All right, we'll flip our second one here. Now just be careful getting that ring off. And then any of the excess batter, you can just come around with your spatula here, and cut that off. So you get a really nice round bun or patty. All right, this bacon is done. Get that off. Got some good caramelization here on our sausage patties. Probably just a few more minutes for the pancakes and then it's gonna be time to build this sandwich. All right, these guys are done. Perfect. All right, now it's time to build the sandwich. So we're gonna get our buns out here. Just look at that. These are actually crisped up really nicely. Take the side that maybe isn't quite so pretty looking. Put a little bit of sauce on that one. This is that mayo hot sauce that we made. And we're gonna take a little bacon. We'll cut this into slices that are about the size of the actual sandwich. So we're cutting these into thirds. Get that down onto here. We like bacon, so we're gonna absolutely load this up. Now, go in with some Kraft Singles. Just like that. There we go. So, I don't know where my cooking blowtorch went, and we've gotta melt that cheese. Get this guy fired up. So we'll get, we're gonna tone the flame down. <laughs> we're just gonna give these craft singles, a nice little light melt. Now, of course, you could have put this right onto the sausage patties themselves. That probably would have been the smarter thing to do, just like smash burgers, and melt these down before you actually built your sandwich. But here we go. We are fixing problems on the fly with our grill gun. Toasting up those craft singles. We'll get the front all nice and melty. It's all about the visuals, you eat with your eyes first. Perfect, look at that. Now it's time to crown your king. And here is our version of the McGriddle. We've got a sausage patty, maple infused pancakes as the bun. We've got a ton of cheese, bacon, mayo hot sauce aioli in here. This is gonna be awesome. Can't wait to try it. The smell's incredible. So here we go. Gonna cut in, show you the cross section. Just look at that. So you know there's only one thing left to do and that's give it the taste test. But before we do, I'm gonna hit it with one last drizzle of maple syrup. Just like this, boom. Mmm. You gotta be kidding me, that is so good. The sweetness from the maple syrup, the richness just from the sausage patty and the bacon, the mayo sauce, that's not overpowering at all. Like not a ton of heat coming through from that. The two cheese slices, frankly, that might've been a little bit too far, but really, really good. So you guys want some independent taste tests on this channel? We've got a new videographer, Kai here, and we're gonna do a taste test, see how this sandwich turned out. We'll get an honest, independent, unbiased review. So he's got half the sandwich, I got the other half over here. We're gonna dig in. Cheers. Cheers. A little sloppy. Got a little bit of that maple syrup. That was amazing. It's like melting in my mouth. So how do you think this ranks relative to McDonald's? I think that they're gonna need to hire you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Anyway, there you have it. Maybe you'll see me working at McDonald's here one day. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you think you learned a little something here. And thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.